afternoon. I'm Chen Chen King, and he is Chu Kalen. We are from Juno Merchants Association Secondary School, and our registration number is 71670. Our topic is Parameter of Ellipse and Generalization in N Dimensional Case. So, as we all know, the formula of the parameter of circle can easily be found. However, this is this seems not to be the same as the parameter of ellipse. Um, earlier, we found some book, and we cannot find a simple formula for that. Therefore, we are interested in find out the formula of the parameter of ellipse. To find out the parameter, we use the technique of integration. And the result is unfortunately cannot be expressed in terms of elementary functions such as trigonometric function or logarithm. Instead, it requires a special function called complete elliptic integral of the second kind, which we call E. So, so this is the formula of the parameter in the integral. And This is the f definition of the y and p. And in terms of e, the parameter can be written like this. So, however, it is useless for to write the parameter in terms of E without knowing its value. Therefore, we are going to numerical approximate the value of E. At first, we try two methods. The first is the Tyler, X, Tyler series of E, which is a polynomial-like expression of this. The result is unsatisfactory and we have approximated up to seven term and the uh, and the current convergence rate is very slow. Another is the Simpson's free eighth rule. This is a direct approximation according to the integral. And we have chosen four um we have chosen four types of the rule, which is the 12 point, 30 point, 60 point, and the 96 point. And with the different combination of these subtypes of the rule, we can approximate E uh, up down to 12 digit after decimal point for most ellipse. ellipse. Later, we found that the E can be approximated in terms of arithmetic geometric mean, which is AGM, and uh, and it is accurate. It is arbitrary accurate. So, we are also interested in the expression of the surface area of ellipsoid. Again, we used the double integration and the vector, and found out that the inter integral cannot express that in terms of any function we knew. And he is writing the integral now. So, although this cannot express it in terms of any function renew, but this is a, but this can be approximated easily because it is both a both simple horizontal and vertical region. 
the region is. I mean, so after ellipse and ellipsoid, is there any more? Yes. And we are interested in the so called the surface any area of the n dimensional ellipsoid. Again, we used the multiple integral and n dimensional vector to try to find out a formula for that. And the result is what we think that is the most simplified multiple integration expression. So using the surface area of the n ellipsoid, we can find, we can specialize it and find the surface area of the n sphere, which is, he is writing out, and the volume of a n sphere and the volume of the n ellipsoid. Um, this is the beta function, yes. So, and that's all of our project. Thank you.